Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Four's Enough Podcast with your hosts, AB4 and Tracy. Thank you for watching Four's Enough Podcast. Enjoy. to one of my favorite YouTube uh, podcast podcast is Fighter and the Kid. Oh yeah. Uh, Brendan Schaub, who um, was, is an MMA fighter and now is a comedian. He not is, he was. Okay. Right. And um, then he has other guests, but lately there have been two guys up there, uh, Chappelle. Chappelle Lacey. Lacey, yep. And Malik is the way he pronounces his name. I would say Malik. Well, it's his name. But he pronounces it Malik. So It's his name. And uh, both of those guys are comedians. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about, I mean, we've been watching that show forever. A long time. Um, and it started with Brendan Schaub and Brian Callen. Right. Um, Brian Callen had these accusations against him. Um, whether it's true or not, we don't know. Uh, it seems to be how the thing, the way things are going, that it's not true. Uh, whether it is or isn't, we don't know. Right. But I'll tell you one thing: that's a better show when Brian Callen's on. I think he um has so many more topics. Still a fan of the show right now. Right. But uh Brian Callen's just it's just a better show with him on it. Yeah, he's well rounded, has yeah. a lot of information and uh well, I'll tell you this, uh I've seen the Brian Callen's new podcast with Sam Tripoli mm-hmm. where it's a conspiracy conspiracy theorist podcast. Um that's not as good as Fighter and the Kid. Right. So even though Brian Callen, I like him better than those guys. I mean, what he's doing sucks to me right now. <laughs> okay, okay, so, yeah. But if we could just put him back on Fighter and the Kid, I think that's going to boost that show up a little higher. Yeah. Um. And let's say you had to get rid of one of them. Who are you getting rid of? If Brian was to come back and say it wasn't just Brian and Brendan, it's Brian, Brendan, and... Uh, well, I, I, I think uh, I would probably get rid of Malik because I've seen him up there the least. I've seen Chappelle has been up there kind of behind the scenes beside Cat for a long time. So I knew him before he came, became main, main character or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I think those three would make a mm-hmm. really good show. Um, what's going to happen? It looks like it's just going to stay the way it is. Right. Um, something to do with some kind of, with some kind of media company doesn't want him there, or some kind of, you know, advertising dollars. I don't, I don't know what it is. Who knows? Who knows? You know, these days it's it's hard to know what the truth is. You just hear the sides of the story yeah. and whatever. But what we do know is they have a new set now on the fighter and the kid. They do. And their old set was red, red and black. And, uh, and I, this isn't the first time they've changed their set. Um, I don't remember a set before the red and the black. Right. He might, but I don't. It's a long, it's a long old show. But the red and black's been around forever. Um, even when they change the set, it stays red and black. Yeah. So everything was usually pretty much the same. And I think I don't like this because just the fact I don't like change. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, he um, doesn't. <laughs> the, the decorations and everything look okay, look fine. They're I'm, cool. Yeah. Um, but It's I, extremely, completely different. It's crowded. There's already three of them, and usually they got somebody up there with them. They're kind of sitting like at a maybe like a diner table. That's the feel you get that yeah. they're in a diner and, and you're sitting at a diner's booth. Yeah. Um, and in case you didn't know, over here is the new set. 
Over here is the old set. Okay. But um, I like the new set, except I just don't like how it's crowded. I don't. There's no. Brendan wants to drink half the time, and he's gonna end up spilling it. It's, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Another thing that's going on on the fighter and the kid. You just mentioned her name, Cat. Yes. Yeah, they're always joking. Hey, sell your feet pictures. And, <laughs> and it's just been an ongoing joke for a while. And and now she's on OnlyFans showing her feet and people are paying money for it. And they said right to begin with, she said she had 120 subscribers. That's $10 a month a piece. Uh, so I said $1,200. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure that number has gone up significantly. Uh-huh. Significantly. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what do you think about that? You know, I think Kat is a great person um, based off of what I've seen of her on the show. Um, I think she has a decent moral compass. And I think that, um, you know what, if you want to show some pictures of your feet and get paid for it, Go for it. You know what I'm saying? You're the one that has to live with the decisions that you make. And, hey, I don't see anything wrong with showing your feet. <laughs> it's just so weird. I don't see anything wrong with it either. Um, the weird part is, why People are you pay paying for it? For it? <laughs> you know, um, I think foot fashions have been around for a very long time. I'm just wondering, is, is it anybody's foot or has it got to be her foot? That they won't. Because you can get on the internet and find lots of feet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm sure different people have different foot preferences. Pro some people probably like them long and skinny feet, and some people probably like short, fat feet. I mean... How you like mine? <laughs> I think you might have to pay me to look at those feet. <laughs> My feet will be on Patreon starting tomorrow. Um, ten dollars a month. I'm just looking for ten ten subscribers. <laughs> um, but you know she got into talking about her mother and her father, and they were all in in for it. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, you know, I mean, again, it, it's your feet. You know, she's already um, someone who is known. She's on podcast. She's on YouTube. Um. You know, she's, she's got a great personality. She's really down to earth. Oh. Why, wouldn't you, why wouldn't you take advantage of that and, and show some feet off? Well, Brittany keeps joking. You know, it's going to lead to more. It's going to lead to more. You know, she's going to want to make 20000 a month. Maybe have to show a little something else for that. I don't know. But uh, the funny thing is, then she said, well, you know what? I have started making a little more money, and then I'm selling my dirty socks. <laughs> Fifty dollars for the pair, I think she said. <laughs> and you know, immediately Brendan's like, hundred dollars. That's got to be a hundred. They're gonna pay a hundred if you're gonna take the time and give your socks away. You get a hundred. I can tell you right now, I could not imagine selling my socks to anybody. <laughs> um, and then they said, well. Well, that might lead to you selling your panties. And she's like, well, you know what? I do have a whole <laughs> pile of panties that I was just about to throw away. And she was like, I would much rather just get paid for it. Hey. And you know, One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> you know, we saw that video on the... Um, on your mom's house was Segura was showing up with that man who had his he bought those panties. Yes. And, it's disgusting. <laughs> Anyway, that's been Force Enough Podcast, and we're out.